There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome to Sleepy Cast, home of Corey's father's vagina. No, really, is it wow. time? Today's <clears throat> topic is Corey's father's vagina. Corey, Corey. Introduce the- Fuck introduce, my dad. Introduce the, uh, introduce the That's the, the idea. Podcast. Yeah, you're the, the newcomer, vagina. so you introduce your guest today. You're the host yes. of today's show. Go. I'm the host? Okay. Corey Spaz Kid d at YouTube.org. Alright, well, how many inches is like, Welcome to Sleepy Cast. I yeah. am Spaz Kid. I am with Jeff. Do I say Johnny Utah? You can if you'd like. You are. Jeff, did, Johnny yeah. Utah, Stamper TV. And uh, the Zach guy you Hale, forgot his name. Psychic Pebbles. Good enough. All right, is that cut print? Sell it. <clears throat> All right. Jeff, Can we just like, like start uh, fucking talking? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, let's just get this the show on the road. Um, so, so uh, Zach and I were at IHOP the other night discussing Batman and he's, uh, yeah. sick kids because that's just a fun topic. To you, you know, there's these guys that go around. What were you eating that brought up Batman? <laughs> and we saw Batman kids. eating in the IHOP. If crazy enough, <laughs> eating his eggs. No, <laughs> no, no, that was that was just a never mind. Yeah. Yeah. What were we? Wait, hold on. No, that was just the waitress. Oh, that was. That's right. Wait, is this somehow going to lead to like a what racial the, joke? What the hell are you talking like a about? Racist joke? Is this I wasn't lead? making a racist joke. Yeah, what are you? What the hell, man? We were talking about Batman. It sounds like it's fucking segueing <laughs> to a racist joke. Anyways, they, you know, some, call some me these, crazy. No, no. You know, they have some of these these guys who dress up like clouds to go scream at the cancer kids, and they make them feel better. Not at IHOP. No, in hospitals. No, but, no people dress up as superheroes. This isn't fucking patch I'm so, uh, Christ maybe, somebody, maybe I'm saying. I, maybe some I people, fucking make a wish foundation. Some people, but not some fucking, people dress up like clouds. No. Some people dress they up like it. Batman and go talk to sick kids. Cord. Do they? Yeah. What? What's your question? Do they? Do they actually do that? Yes. Yes, people though, people really do this. <laughs> I thought that no, was like we're I, not even no, we're not we're not we're at this, the, this I, isn't a bit. I honestly thought that was at Make a Wish Foundation. We're not at the joke yet. This isn't a this is a bit no. Yeah, yeah. it's not the No, bit. It's, it's, it's true essentially though? the same thing. Imagine you're a kid and you're dying, mm -hmm. right? What would you want? Imagine to live? You're, imagine you're nine. To not die of cancer. People dress up as characters to cheer the kid up. I want, I want Aquaman to come see me in the hospital yeah. and splash water in my face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah sorry. but isn't that like Make a Wish Foundation? Is this not what they do? No. Well, it's isn't that their no. Job? Pe people just dress up like Batman and wander into hospitals and make these, you know, make well, these kids no, go better. Well, no, I understand what you mean. You, That's what yeah, I thought. It's, I thought it's, it was it's, the it's, organization. It's no, it's no request that. of a wish. It's just these guys who want to make kids feel better. I wasn't fucking thinking every single cancer association in the world that handles kids is a Make Make Your Wish Foundation. I just thought generally those kinds of people were the ones that dressed up as fucking Should we start Santa Claus and yes. gave people Let's Santa Claus. Let's just start over. Let's just start over. I, we can't. Okay. We can't argue about this first half edit for over 10 it. minutes. We can edit it over. Okay. So, Zach and I were at IHOP. Yep. Okay. And we were talking about cancer and sick kids and... Uh, the best things to eat, too. Yeah, the best things to eat, too. I was eating Most a waffle appetizing. talking about cancer. Yeah. And uh, we talked about how people dress up as superheroes and various other characters to go into hospitals to cheer kids up. And uh, we started... We found, I, I brought up the story about how this guy dresses Batman, this rich asshole who has nothing better to do with his time. He very selfishly tries to make himself feel better by Wait, going into a hospital. Can I interrupt? And no, was, no. Was Batman eating? He wasn't at eye up. A hot dog. <laughs> okay, we're well, cutting that up. God damn it! Is this? Je no. Is this like Make a Wish Foundation? <laughs> by chance, is this like a Make a Wish Foundation sort of thing? No. There's a there's a guy who's rich. Just some sickly. There's just a rich guy. It's a wealthy man at IHOP dressed up as Batman. Not even close. <laughs> so far from the story. Corey, shut up. Jeff, continue. Please. I'm not even There's sure. There's a wealthy man. On. He dresses up as Batman. He drives a black Lamborghini to the hospital. Oh. He has a lot of money and a lot of bo he's a lot of time and he's bored and he wants to make kids feel better. So he it's goes. Like, it's like his Batmobile. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It, it looks there like was a Batmobile. a story where the cops pulled him over and it was very funny for like a week on the internet because like, all these people <laughs> had pictures of Batman talking to the cops on the side of the road and they thought it was adorable. And uh, so we were talking about this, how he goes into the hospital. And uh, Zach, why don't you just. Uh, we were just saying, like, I think it'd be pretty sweet if it was Dark Knight Batman. Yeah. Where's the cancer? Where is it? He just starts choking yeah. the kid. Where is it? 
I, <laughs> I don't think he smacks the kid. Especially gets into the if fucking inter- thing. If I can interject, that yes. was the whole, that was the whole part, joke. Yeah. Being part of the cast. It took fucking 35 minutes to get out. Listen, to right, I don't think Batman, Dark Knight Batman, I might emphasize. I don't think he's going to go into a kid's hospital and shake a kid to death and ask him where the cancer is. You know what he's going to slam his head like he did the joke? Or... <laughs> It's horrible. Get a fucking cut right now. It's horrible. Slaver ended. Where's Harvey Dent? Fucking insane. The end. Thank you for listening. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. okay, seriously. Like, a, a real topic. A, a real thing to shoot yes, the shit about. Yes, what would you like to talk a about? A real thing to shoot the shit about. Yeah, yeah that, that, that wasn't about, a real topic. That was fake. I that thought was it was a, a great topic. Batman, cancer. That was fucking stupid and something on Reddit. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Bring, bring your... Bring, 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 bring your Corey right, to the right, table. All right, all right, yeah. You know, you know what, Corey? Sorry, bring Christian to the table. Wow. Put Christian trumps Batman, Corey. Put Christian and uh, Batman to do a ring and see who wins. What's a Christian? Corey. <laughs> wow us. Wow us, you, Corey. You better cut that out. What can I say? Um, I got a huge dick, and I ain't afraid to use it. We need a fucking topic. <clears throat> Clocks. Clocks. Oh my god, dude. Fucking, you want to talk about like clocks? Do you like circular clocks? Or <laughs> you, have, you have a lot to say about no, clocks. No, you want to talk about clocks. <clears throat> have you ever, like, fallen asleep while listening to a clock and then it almost, like, disappears entirely and you forget? Like the sound of the clock? Yeah, like, have you ever been asleep, right? And you were so droned out by this fucking ticking sound that the clock was making that eventually you were thinking about it to a point where it was almost, like, getting quieter and quieter to result in non-existent? Like, until you fall asleep? No, like, it, it actually, the ticking sound actually just disappear, like, disappears. Have you ever actually Right, yeah, you just that? get used to it. Yeah, yeah like, have it's you like ever experienced noise. laying, yeah, like, laying down and then suddenly, like, you hear... <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I fall asleep to like a fan. But then it gets quieter. Yeah, fans are quiet. You can hear it actually getting quieter is what I'm talking about. Has that ever happened to you? Yo, what if you woke up in the middle of the night after, like, you fell asleep to the sound of, like, a ticking clock and you woke up in the middle of the night and there was aliens standing around your bed and one of the aliens was making clicking sounds with his mouth and he was like... Well, I'd be fucking terrified to begin with that there's aliens. And he was smiling at you and shit. I don't give a shit if he was smiling as a fucking alien. What, what if he just sort of sat down next to you and just wanted to tell you a story? Would you Would you run or I'd would you... i push him off what my if he's fucking like, broken ass so? couch bed. You can't. You're paralyzed. Hit, hit the head. Aliens paralyze you. He paralyzed you? <clears throat> yeah. They surround your bed Corey. and you can't move, remember? Every Corey. alien abduction story ever. <laughs> you wake up. That's your sleep paralysis. You wake up. There's an alien okay. staring at you, one inch from your face. Making clicking clock sounds? No. That'd be t- no. To emulate a clock on your wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if he was just buying a clock on your wall and making right. clicking sounds? Realistically, kind of what if an alien was kissing you when he was deaf and so he made really loud breathing sounds? Yeah. He's like, Corey, would you fuck with a deaf alien? <laughs> yeah. what, do you, what do you think a deaf alien would do? Do you think they go, <laughs> do you think they still sound deaf? Like a deaf alien? <laughs> He pulls up and... Jeff, yeah, you don't want to be here, do you? First of all, first of all, if an alien rolled up and he was dead, and he came this in... This is ponderous. Doing different, wheel, doing different sign language. First of all, I'd be terrified that a giant gray alien was in my room. What if he started joking you off? Would you let him? Yeah. Why are they always threatening? What if there was a giant gray alien... You just said an alien was going to jerk no, me No, no, no. Well, That's not threatening. <laughs> what, if there was a, well, what if you woke up in the middle of the night and you looked over and you saw an alien in your room, but he was just fucking with your shit, like turning off your alarm so you woke up late. Fucking... <laughs> like he wasn't doing anything. I don't have an alarm. Opening your socks real closing it really fast. Yeah, he, was, he was just like opening your drawers and sneaking out just to fuck with you. <laughs> Pulling socks Fucking slightly in your drawers. Sock drawer. Oh yeah, you keep all your clothes in like a bookshelf. That's where people keep books. I actually put all my clothes on the ground. Or severed heads. In a black bag. We need topics. There's well, no topics. Worst case scenario, this is a temporary thing. We're just All right, you want to you want to talk about ghosts at one point? Sure. Ghosts. Since ghosts. we are in sleepy cast, we deal with like fucking ghoulish topics. Corey, like do you believe in ghosts? Yes or no? Never experienced it. But you, you no, that know. wasn't the question. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you think they? Do you think they walk around your room at nighttime when you're asleep? No. What What would an ideal ghost experience be for you? If a ghost went up to me and touched me and showed me he was invisible. And he just... <laughs> he showed you? What do you what, mean? Uh, well, he's like, check it out, I'm invisible. <laughs> what, what, what kind of ghost, what time period, what type of what type of ghost would you like to meet? He can't be wearing fucking Victorian <laughs> outfits and he can't be all white. No, no Victorian outfits. He has to be a modern guy kind of chilling there drinking beer on a fucking couch and like, being like... A ghost beer? Like somebody who died in a car accident like a few days ago and he just kind of wanders in and he's like hey man, yeah, I'm dead. I would freak out, but yeah, that's the kind of ghost right, I would want to Why don't I pretend to be the ghost? Okay. Ooh. 
Hello. Ghost what's don't your, fucking. What's, what's your name? This is in the eighties. Ghost don't b ghoul and howl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey man, I'm a ghost. What's <laughs> your name? Something that's more kicking. like it. What's, what's kicking? kicking, dude? I'm dead. Radical. <laughs> yeah, don't don't ghosts come? They, they come into contact with you because I'm they, dead, nigga. What's your I'm name? They got My name is Arnold. My name. They called me up before I. My name's Omar. I got shot yesterday. I'd be like, what, what are you what talking about? Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just appeared here. Yeah, how come you never see any autistic ghosts where they come into your room and they're like, ooh. <laughs> 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 They're all autistic. Maybe they just, yeah, maybe they, just don't, they can't find their way to uh, heaven. Why, why, do you like, think, <laughs> why do you think they go to those people who are like, I'm thinking of a J, I'm thinking oh, of an E? Those are the ones that are like, <laughs> That's why they make uh, that noise. Uh, like, oh, I'm thinking of an A. I hear uh, A. Is it Adam? Is it an, is it an Ashley's? Would you help? Would you help me if I was a ghost, Corey? If, you were, if I was on a show, that's the question. Like, why would a dude that died yesterday in a car accident come to your house and he's like, oh, "You need to find the key to my treasure." It should be like a ghost thing. He's a ghost. He needs he needs help. He what? Yeah. He needs closure in his life. Yeah, yeah. No, you just, help him. Yeah. Look, if you died in a car accident because right. Zach was driving right, hold poorly, on, hold on. would you go visit somebody and ask for? Here's the thing. If it was a snaky situation where the guy was like, I need you to help me and avenge my death, I'd be like, okay, what do you need? He'd be like, I need you to go to this place. I need you to fucking at night. kill this guy. Well, first of all, I you're not going to talk to a ghost body. that casually. I need you to find my body. I'd be like, first of all, dude, you're telling me to go to a fucking abandoned house and you want me to find your body. Corey, which is the first thing I would do if I talked to a go ghost to would jail. go to like a scientist. The first thing I would do if I talked to a ghost Who would shit myself. Who the fuck is going to believe you? Why are you not having a casual conversation with me? He just shows up while you sleep. having a casual conversation with me. He's like, hey, Corey, wait. Up, hey, dude. Listen, I, the, I need you to go talk to this guy to fucking avenge my. Well, he was having a, a ghost? He, If he's having a casual conversation with me, I think the polite thing to do would not be to run and fucking leave. He's flown over he your bed. You. He's flown over your bed, glowing blue. Wait, here's a scenario, Corey. I'm, I'm a, I'm a dead guy. Okay. I said, listen. What if Jeff really was a dead guy? He's been Dude, a ghost the whole time. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, let's say a guy came to you and said, listen, I I died and my girlfriend died in a car accident and I'm stuck here and I feel like I need to, I feel like I miss her so much. I need to, uh, see your dead body. See, you know, yeah. It's like, I, I feel like if you were to, if you can dig me up and dig her up and then have, and then kind of make our two in. corpses kiss, like push our two dead corpse faces together. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, dude. yeah, no, I'm serious. This is—I know this is crazy. And he's like, just, just have us kind of make out, like pull our tongues right, out. Of our well, faces. here's the thing. I'd be like, all right, dude. And like, then you can put us back. I, no, I'd be like, I, I just want to embrace her. I, like, I understand, time. but it is a felony to dig up dead bodies and force them to kiss like puppets. <laughs> so you, but I'm stuck here forever if you don't. Say so whatever. Say my problem, dude. I don't want to go to jail. Yo, what if a ghost visited you and did this and Listen. asked you to do the same exact thing, right? Make corpses you, kiss like puppets. You did, you did it, and then the the cops got you, and they put you in prison for defiling grave sites. Which would happen? And then yeah, the ghost visited out. you in prison. He was like, I "Can't believe you fell for that, you Zach. fucking dumbass." I would tell so what many if, scientists what if, that. What if you dug the body up? Would fucking show. Then you'd be a fucking out. weirdo in prison <laughs> talking about ghosts. Corey, you get like you top six months in jail for defiling a corpse. Like they're already dead. You, Here's you, the thing. You won't even get a year. Here's the thing. If a, if a, a realistic, I know I've done it. No, what? if a ghost came up to me and he was like. I need you to dig up my wife and make me kiss her with my other corpse body. I, yeah. I would be like, no, I'm what not going to do that. You, ha you find what someone. Fine, Corey, Corey, I, got, I got a better scenario. He says, look, I was a rich guy. I had a million dollars. I know what it is, but I, I will tell you, but I had a big fantasy before I, I died. I was really into watching my wife get fucked by other guys, but I never got to see it. So you gotta dig my dead wife up and fuck her, and I'll give you a million dollars. That is somewhere. Why did you come to me for this? And he's shit, like, dude? listen, I'll. He says, I got, I got he says work you're to handsome. Do. Fuck. You got a nice jaw. <laughs> got a big fat dick. I was like, I'll, I'll look out for the cops for you. I guarantee you won't get caught, and I'll pay you a million dollars if you can just do this. You can buy like, anything you want. Nobody to. will know. I'd be like, I am not gonna be blackmailed by a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I will not. I refuse. 
Now get out of my house. Good. <laughs> He's like, day. all right, sir. You drive. He'd be like, okay. You drive a hard bargain. I'll give you two million dollars. I'd be like, well, sign me up. And then I go to the. I yeah. go there. Yeah. And I would you dig her up. Take a step. Take a step by step. All right. So you dig her up. Then what? I, I would not do that. I go back and be like, oh man. Would you gently. She wasn't there. I, I look for would her. Gently... Well, she was in a grave. You fucking liar. You gotta believe that. <laughs> He's, He's a ghost. He can follow you anywhere I go. <laughs> He's like God. He's walking behind you. He's like an all seeing. You he'd walk to the grave and he'd be like, oh, he'd be like, dude, I'm right here. I see I know what you're gonna do. She's Don't like, even try it. Like, make sure you're gentle with her. Just gently, gently caress her. She likes to, her neck to be kissed. Yeah. Well, if that was his fantasy, wouldn't the ghost be like standing next to you, beating off the Yeah. Whole time? yeah. yeah. Well, you'd hear it, you'd, Here's the thing, though. And that brings up other questions. Do they shoot ghost loads? What if you come too fast? Would he like cancel just hear the deal and be like, you didn't give me what I wanted? <laughs> it just like turns into sparks, shoots out and turns into sparkles or something. Like a little, yeah, like fairy mist that yeah. just shoots out. <laughs> You like the sound of that? <coughs> All you have to do is do it, Corey, and then he'd disappear. Then he'd be like, thank you. And then he'd, he'd kind of dis- like, descend into heaven. That's, that is, that's what it goes That's how about. he gets into heaven. I just have to bring some, vas- yeah, like just fucking... bring some Vaseline and get it over with. All right, so after the good deed is done and he yeah. shines off to heaven. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the good deed. The good deed is done. The cops kick down my door and go no, upstairs. The cops- all right, let's say. All right, let's say. Let's say we saw it. We. we I right, do. We know your let's semen's see. in her fucking pussy. This is a script for a movie, and and at the end of it, you find out that the guy that was being talked to by ghosts the whole all time right. was a fucking nutcase, <laughs> and he just like fucking dead. People. I was gonna say, what if it's one of his friends with a tape recorder in his pocket, fooling his friend the whole time? Let me be. Let me. I'm, all right, I'm the cop. I come to the door, say, knock, knock. The tape recorder. Who's bro. there? Uh, police. I just well, I want to ask a few questions. Police who? Sir, <laughs> we don't have time for games. This is a serious matter. Please I op- open the door. I open the door. All right. Um, I know how unlikely this is, sir. You know, we, we uh, one of our other officers were patrolling the graveyard, and we found one of your shoes. And you're the only guy in the neighborhood who wears these shoes with like these neon shoelaces. Why would you, Corey? Why would you leave a shoe behind? And <laughs> we're just. It is impossible. It was it dark. Is. I tripped over a branch. It's not my fault. So you admit to being there. Yeah. yeah my partner admit, and I right. have been looking at the crime scene. See, now here. the cop's going to smell your dick and <laughs> smell dead bodies yeah, like, on it. It's like, so what are you laughing at? Is, uh, what are you, you hear something, sir? All right. We think one of the bodies was it's the too file, late. I'm already sliding out the door like a salamander. I'm gone. That's, right in that's front impossible. Of the cops. No, he, he got you. We got you. No. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever jail. Seen Terminator There's cops 2? in the backyard. Have you ever seen Terminator? There are Terminator. cops in the backyard. There are cops everywhere. I turned into liquid nitrogen. You turned into fucking Swiss cheese if you Try to run, dude. <laughs> Liquid nitrogen is what's, what killed him. The dead, the dead body division. It's like lava. Your house around it. He's both. I it's well, like, listen. Oh listen. yeah, wait, yeah, it was lava. We don't. He tries to. It's close. Corey, it's not surrounded by cops, and they're coming in all they nicely. Say, he's listening. He's like, listen, sir. We don't have absolute evidence it was you, but would you like to possibly admit you did it, or would you just like to drag this out further? Would you... We don't know if we'll catch Here's you. Here's what I would say. I would that say... That was really elaborate. Jeff. I would Has say... What the to fuck, you? man? <laughs> I, would I have s- dreams about this This now. is what I would say. <laughs> if a policeman came to me, I have and he, he said that I fucked like someone's late wife, I would be like, listen, sir, I was visited by a ghost, and he told me to fuck his wife, because that was his fantasy. I was only doing what he asked. Ask him. He's right here. All right. Well, thank you for your honesty. Could now you come just to please jail. turn around and put your arms behind your back? <laughs> thank you. What want to be arrested for now? What the fuck? All right. You're going to you're gonna, you're gonna be uh, overnight, and you're spending overnight in the jail, and you're going to get a little drug test, sir. Just please cooperate. Yeah. You get, don't, don't resist. Get your hands off me. I'm an American citizen. <laughs> Americans can get arrested too, sir. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Put your hands back. Put your cell phone down. I'm just, I'm just curious, it's sir. A beer. Was it, was it like fucking sandpaper or what? What was it like, sir? Cause I'm just, I just a morbid it, curiosity. I imagine it'd be decomposed. It could be a little bit. How like, long was she in the ground? Like you think? Fucking a yeah, sock. How, let's say two days. It was like but fucking a, a sock. With only two days. Beer. Sock with maggots what wrapped you around sock? your cock. Why is it like a sock? What are you talking about? I said it was like fucking a sock with old meat in it with maggots wrapped around it. Because cock. sometimes it's easier to masturbate into a sock as opposed to shooting it on a piece of paper towel or a towel. All right, what were we talking about? What if you got formaldehyde all over Holy your dick and then, it, and then it preserved your dick? What's formaldehyde? <laughs> Forever and like you just had a baby peach dick. They, even they, after pump it, they, they remove the blood from bodies and pump in formaldehyde to, to sort of pre- preserve them for a time. They, it, it, 
slows down the decomposing process. It's it's, so it's you why can people, go mourn in the, yeah, in the you, open caskets open without caskets, being yeah. disgusted by the maggots crawling through your dead grandma. Yeah, so they can look nice. Is there actually maggots days. going through them usually? Yeah, Not yet. But <laughs> so they get through the casket, maybe. But see, even that, I don't think so because a lot of it's pretty heard well something. sealed. Yeah, it seems All like right, I actually heard something. I feel like it's a misconception of older caskets. I actually heard something. Yeah. Since we're talking about dead people, I actually heard this. I don't know if it's true, but I remember hearing this theory that like fucking caskets are like complete bullshit how people pay like seventeen thousand dollars for a casket and then mm-hmm. when they bury their loved one ultimately when they're buried the, they cave in immediately to no, like grab a cave in though wouldn't it no no like the caskets actually cave in so almost no, but every I'm saying casket, the casket caves caved in, in would the ground cave in it's not <laughs> Because bodies get ex- exhumed all the time for various reasons. So yeah, no, yeah, they have to dig up bodies sometimes. Yeah, no, no. If you and, and I think I think they case sometimes they case the casket like concrete or something. Well, could you imagine if you paid like you're talking about like MythBusters or something like that? I, I could have sworn if they if the second they dropped the door on it, it collapsed, the fucking ground collapsed. Well, yeah, I think that was a MythBusters episode, and they like fucking well, debunked yeah. it as being bullshit. Well, no, 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 they they debunked it. If you could breathe, if it was possible, be <clears> buried. Six feet under and like you know still live. Yeah, from suffocating through a straw or something. No, from like living six. There feet is under. those fucked up funeral homes where you pay for a coffin and they put you in a fucked up box and just like bury you and they yeah. take your money as a profit. They're expensive, hey, um, Corey. Question. So, oh. Yeah, burying someone was really expensive. Let's say, let's say, um, Stamper, Zach, me, and Chris all died. Okay. But well, we will. You're alive. And you went to the funeral home and they said, listen, we, we, uh, us guys at the funeral home are big fans of internet animation and we're going to give you four caskets for free. But they're like, but they're not equal though. But they're like, we have the really good one, the okay one, the not so good one. And there's a really terrible one. So would you like to just tell us which body you'd like in which casket? Yeah. Go. Go. Who gets the best casket? Come on, yeah. Who gets the best casket? Who you're, who on, you're on the, the three of us and Chris. Yeah. Uh, me. Stamper, <laughs> Psychic Pebble Zach, Johnny Utah, and Chris O'Neill, aka Oni. Four four caskets of degrading quality. Yeah. Best to <laughs> Okay, worst. so so essentially he's literally like you see a fucking gold rim casket, then you see one that's like falling over. And then you see one like wood. the wooden cup in Indiana Jones where <laughs> yeah. it's like Then there's like a what's, cardboard what's box. Literally, what's literally a wooden box with like Home Depot? One's literally a shoe box where they have to cut you into parts and maybe put a couple parts in it. I would <laughs> ask him if we could not do the last one. No, shut up, asshole. And say you I would th- ask him what kind of business he's running because right. this like is a put, bullshit. Put Chris and Zach in casket number three together. No, you can't. I do think. That. I think no, I would. No. The biggest casket. I would put. The best casket. It's no, best yeah, casket. you knew it. You just, I saw you smile. <laughs> the best casket. You with, need to be honest. The best casket with gold rim and everything. Yeah. yeah I would put it, two people inside of it Dude. to save money. Uh huh. That would make the afterlife horrible because they're normal sized caskets. Would, it's not like a like, penthouse. Like, Sir, I, I would put Chris and Stamper both Chris in the gold Stamper. casket. Oh, we Ooh. see now. And so then wait. I, and then I would put. So this just begs the question who gets the worst casket, me or Zach? <laughs> And there's still two other left. Yeah, like, like I have all my whole body. I'm <laughs> dead, man. What do you, who who gets the worst cat? Who gets who, who gets, gets the fucking shoe box? Who gets the shoe box that gets invaded by? Yeah, the worst <laughs> one gets gets filled with maggots too. Like in a immediately. Week. <laughs> You gotta. We're fucked. Like our body, our body is fucked. So who, who, who? Corey? Zach, you can have the shoebox since you Aww. fucking don't care. I do care. I'm terrified of death. I don't want to die. Yeah, but you, you're you're accepting of like a, a life of dirt. So <laughs> no, a life of dirt. You can live in the shoebox. Horrible. All right, you can live in the Indiana Corey, Jones box. When you sure. die, when you die before he basically put you in a fucking shoebox. <laughs> You, you swore your allegiance to everybody, Corey. I, I want to be fucking burned. You're in a shoebox. I want to be cremated. No, you're please. in a fucking shoebox. You can still fit in a shoebox if you were cremated. What if, what if the guy was like, but listen, we have a special today. If you volunteer to kill yourself and test out our new experimental casket we have here, we'll give all four of these guys the best caskets ever. So I'd be cool. like, dude, that's like giving them fucking like a few thousand dollars for a casket over my entire life. I'd yeah. be like, how about fuck you? Here's a here's a. De- <laughs> You just don't want to play along, do you? No, fuck no. no. That's bullshit. Here's a deeper question. You have to. You can't think about it for more than one second. Okay. Uh, if me and Jeff and Zach and Chris were all gonna die, but you could sacrifice your life for all <laughs> the lives of all four of us, what would you do? Go. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? What do I? What? 
What was the question? You know, you know what the fucking question is. What was the question? <laughs> Sorry. Would you risk your life if you knew we were all gonna? Uh, the would you sacrifice was, yourself if all four of us were gonna die? Not to all save four of us, us. you. Trade your life for all four of us. Could I trade like half my life? No. What kind of half your life? What like cut off your legs and half of your brain? <laughs> So you're just like this mess of nonsense and trying what, to animate, but not really doing if, it very well. What if they said, "All right, you can chop off your dick to save one of them"? Wait, how? How in any fucking like science now is where I would kill myself and save four people? Because you're it's, we're, because you're you're we've all been captured by terrorists, Corey, and they're playing yeah, it's, sick it's, games with it's us. It's evil. It's not like a legitimate science. Yeah, so we're in Doctor <laughs> Evil's ca- like uh, you know Doctor Evil's play kit. Like it. We're in. We're in his. Uh, Do you remember those fucking things you get? Like when you go, you bought them at like when you were a kid. You, your parents spent like forty eight dollars to get you these fucking like things where you make bugs out of like gummy worms and shit. Yeah. You make like gummy bugs and then you eat them. Uh huh. And then that's it. You spend forty eight dollars on something that you have fucking three packets of and then you're done with it and you never think about it again. Uh huh. That make you sad. What does that have did to you, do with? Did you ever have those? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, to answer your question about. A mad scientist. Yeah, you're in a mad scientist, uh, like, torture chamber. Mm-hmm. You he must just, trade your He's like, to- it's very simple, Corey. They die, or you die. That's it. <laughs> Choose. And he's doing the thing where he's sharpening a knife with yeah. that sharpening I'd be rod. like, why can't I live? We're all tied to a table he and the big laser is coming questions. at us. You sit there yeah, and look stupid, stupid you Listen, you got 30 seconds, buddy. You gotta choose, or you, or you all die. Yeah, or you all die. I'd be like, see you guys. Really? You would too. <laughs> you would too, you asshole. And then he fucking kills me anyways. Then you go, you're like, oh, I didn't see that one coming after I'm fucking dead and we're hanging out as ghosts. You're a terrible, Jeff, you're a terrible friend, Corey. You would do the same Jeff, thing. Would you sacrifice your well, life. I am terrible. I thought you were at least better than me. No, I'm stupid. You're I would, Jeff, would you sacrifice your life. All the time. <laughs> for what? For the four of us. For us no. Two, for us. All right, realistically, <laughs> realistically. <laughs> You're horrible. Of course you? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> you? What? You? Well, I was gonna kill myself anyway, so yeah, you guys yeah, have it. Yeah, I don't want it either. I'd at least, I'd at least stand there and pretend to think about it in front of you guys, so no. you just feel bad, and then I could I run know, away? I would Stamper's choice. No, I'd be like, so wait a second. There's just one weird medical Listen. guy standing in the middle of the room. There's like five of us. Let's just bum rush him. Let's just get him. All right, fair enough. I mean, if there was no choice, I'd, I, don't get me wrong, I'd feel really bad about it, but... You'd be fucking dead, I don't care, I'd be bad I don't think, I, I think I'd be dead. brave enough. What about you? What would you do? Stamper's idea. <laughs> Just gonna kill yourself. <laughs> we'll kill myself anyway, so, in the no, real life. So wait, wait, wait. So why there's, not, uh, there's five of us in this room and he's playing fucking games, and then you two are like, well... I'm gonna offer we're gonna kill ourselves anyway, so... Wait, why not get ahead of the curve? What about what the Dr. Evil? Wait, hold Dr. on. Evil just if like, you, well, if you motherfuckers were gonna kill yourself, and I was supposed to save four of you, so I basically... Save only Jeff. I, I saved two four of you. Well, that makes count. sense. That's good enough for me. Yeah. That's yeah. stupid. I would be like, fuck you guys. Not oh, you know what I do? You know what I do? Because <laughs> uh, that's what, you know what friends I do. do. Here's what I do. I would say no, and you guys would all die, and then I'd kill myself. So everybody wins. All right, make this easier. The guy's like, all right, listen, I feel bad. I'll save Jeff's life if I can just cut off your non... I'll cut off your non-dominant arm. I'll allow you to still animate, but I want your non-dominant arm, and Jeff can live. I had a dream about that. <laughs> really? I had a dream... What would you do? Did you let me die? I went... Okay. Like, I'll literally, tell you. with, like, Jeff in it? And no, no, no. your arm I'll and tell you, this doctor. is what happened. This guy, I would... I, there was these guys They showed up at the house one day There was these guys In like black suits They're like come with us We're doing an experiment And I'm like I'm not coming with you And then they promised me All this money And they showed me This stuff on the computer And I was like oh Cause I'm Cause okay. dream me is stupid So I get in a big black car And I'm just like dream Fucking twiddle, me. <laughs> I'm twiddling my thumbs And then I go to this This building This huge fucking like Building This giant glass building And I go inside And I go to this guy And he's like We're gonna cut off Your left hand But in return We are gonna give you A superpower and I'm like, any superpower? He's like, you have a list of superpowers to choose from. And the first one was flying. What about growing your left hand back? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what about right. regeneration? Well, that'd be great. You guys right, are right, ruining right, the story. Right, sorry, sorry. So I was I like, didn't shit, man. I was like, okay, you can remove my left hand as long as I can like fly. And then when I woke up, I could fly. So I was like flying around. I'm like, oh up. man, this is awesome. So when I came back, the person's like, okay, 
we want to remove your entire arm. And I was like, okay. And they're like, if we do that, we'll give you another superpower. And I'm like, okay. Because they told me how, like, they would take my genes from my hand. And that's how they would manipulate my DNA <clears throat> to grow everything. So I was like, all right. So after that, I, I had super strength. So I, I was, like, really fucking strong. And nobody messed with me. And I was really popular at school. And then, <laughs> like, I went back. I like how you were back in school for some reason. <laughs> at the end of this dream, were you, like, uh, the most powerful human in the world? But you were, like, a quadriplegic that couldn't even move? No, no, hold on, hold on. What happened was I went yeah. back, and they're like, we're going to remove your leg, but we're going to give you another superpower. And I'm like, okay, which leg? Like, we're going to remove this one. I'm like, all right. So, we're yes, at, I was in a wheelchair. Or yeah, things. I could still fly. So I was, like, in a wheelchair flying. I still had super strength. <laughs> Wait, you were in so a I wheelchair could still flying? pick up a hand and throw shit. Did you have to hold the wheelchair as but you flew? I could also be control time and everything. Oh. So I had to, but I could only control time... Like, I, I had a limited amount of hours I could control time a day or something. So I was like, okay. Then I went back, like, we're going to remove your right hand. And I'm like, I'm done. And then I left, and I woke up, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> How do you control time? What, do you, what can you do? It was like I was given a few hours. Like, you're given six hours a day to control whatever you want. So I could slow time down. I could speed time up. I could pause time for six hours. I just had six hours a day to do whatever I wanted. I hate how reckless you are, man. Are you serious? You were just like, yeah, take that. Yeah, take that's fine. Yeah, take that. Okay, this now is this is too far. <laughs> this is the <laughs> most <laughs> elaborate sidestep ever to asking if I, I swear would... to God, that was my dream. So would, would you lose your arm to save my life? Oh, yes. No, not in real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your, well, there's your answer. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm sorry. That's all I wanted to know. I'm sorry, it's Jim. All right. It's all right. But you would lose friend. your but I don't want to lose my hand. But you will lose your hand, your arm, and your leg to fly around in a wheelchair. With superpowers. It's it, like a rocket-powered wheelchair, you or are you just flying and holding you it? you have to hold it. Yeah, I was strapped in. Like a, like a race car. Oh, so why were you in a wheelchair before you lost your leg? I had wings. I was flying through the wings. That still doesn't answer the question. Why were you in a wheelchair to begin with? Because it's my fucking dream. I had no legs. I do couldn't you, use crawlers. Do you, you had feel, legs, though? You, I had one leg. Do you feel inherently handicapped somehow? Like, you just need a wheelchair. Or did I get the time frame mixed up? No. I had a wheelchair when I had no legs. I thought you had a wheelchair before you <laughs> lost your leg. I basically lost this whole half Sorry. of my body. What? If you had wings, would you like angel wings or bat wings or some other kind of wings? They were fire dragon wings. Fire yeah, dragon. you you have like they're cool, on fire. <laughs> you have like cool wings, like gin, like devil gin. No, I have like I have like fucking angel wings or something. Are they black or white? Sometimes they're black or white. They were white, but they had fire streaks. If you had wings in real life, it'd be a burden to wake up and you have feathers all over your bed. What were we talking? What about what about goat horns? Would you would you really willing to just have goat horns on your head? Sure. Everybody thought they were cool, but you like just couldn't even sleep at night because they were always in the way. You find a way. What time is it? It's midnight. All right. So the hour we, of the wolf. We need another topic. This has gone like a weirdest fucking tangent in existence. Like we were talking about ghosts, and then we're talking about stupid fucking dreams and saving people's lives. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, uh, Welcome to the podcast. No, seriously, like I'm, I'm out. I, I can't think of anything. I, I'm gone. That's my tangent. That's my dream You're done. story. Out. You're over. Actually, if we're talking about dreams, one of the most common dreams I have are very vivid zombie dreams. I've been having zombie dreams a lot, and I don't really like zombies. What What happens in these zombie dreams? Can you, can I never elaborate? actually. I never actually. Why did die? you ask him that, like a psychiatrist? You're like sitting in this chair, and you're like, "What happens in these well, zombie dreams affect, that you have? How is this affected by your father and the way his big vagina would should, make you feel? Shall we all share our pussy? terrible nightmares? Yeah, I should. Yeah. I that was not really a nightmare. Actually, like my last. Generally, <clears throat> how my dreams start with like zombie dreams is like how any other one starts. It's just like it's a big build up to ultimately being caught or something. And being like, I'm about to get eaten. What, I if wake they, up. what if they ate all your rent money? What would you do? They ate all my rent. They just like ate my fucking yeah, soul. They, Corey, they like Fuck money. Corey, I'd fucking be mad. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, no, I got a good topic. I would tell you, yeah. I would be truthful and say zombies ate my fucking rent money, sorry. A dr uh, yeah, and I'd, uh, I'll believe that one. <laughs> I'll, show you, I'll show you the marks. I'd give you the benefit of the doubt. I'd look out the curtains and see if there were zombies outside, <laughs> and then I'd come back upstairs and be like, Corey, where's the money at? Because you're full of shit. I feel like this is there's zombies outside. They ate the rent. <laughs> and then I'd be like, really? They ate your PayPal account? I, I'd, be like, I'd be like, don't worry. I don't think... The, the fucking landlord's gonna come anytime soon. She's probably being eaten right now. Doesn't sound very believable. 
Let's say you're a liar. A it pathological happens. liar. It, it happens. Why can't you just pay the rent, Corey? I pay the rent. <laughs> okay, wait, no, it's, so here's a good topic. Uh, All right. What if your What if your father came up to you and he said, "Corey, I'm gonna pull your butt apart and fuck you, <laughs> and if you don't let me do it, I'm gonna kill your mom." Yeah. What would you yeah. do? You're shaking your head. <laughs> what, if he, what if he said, "Listen, just wipe well I, this morning because we're gonna have some fun tonight." I'd be like, "I'd be like, you can't fuck what you can't see." <laughs> You can't fuck what you can't see? What do you mean? You can't fuck what you can't see? Is that, is that a homebook called Corey? Where'd you get that from? And then you'd run, run away and it'd be like a little cloud-shaped Corey. <laughs> would you Would you try to plug up your butthole? Would you try no, to I just, put like, like a cork bot? Like I just a, run away. Let's say you're locked in the room with him. And he said, listen, I'm going to pull your butt apart and do my thing. Like, And you have to talk your way out of it. There's a perfectly good window to jump through. No, no there's no windows. He finds a window. He, he tapes puts you in the ba- he, he has you in the basement. Yeah, it's there's a zombie no, apocalypse. There's no vents. There's, no, there's just, windows along there's the nowhere to go. So my yeah. dad took me into the Corey, basement. Yeah, it's, it's he, a basement. That's easier. Here's, Here's what happens. <laughs> Here's what happens. But our basement had windows. Corey, go, go in the cellar. It's a new house. Corey, go in the cellar. Get, get, your, get, get your old man some uh, beer. Go downstairs. Good luck. Corey, <laughs> I would be, uh, I would, I would still be getting that a beer. Was a too specific. Did that happen to you? <laughs> Not worry about it. Did your old man keep? On? <laughs> no, nobody's old man just keeps beer in the cellar and then sings a song. Something <laughs> bad happens. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so I go downstairs. Hey, Look, I just stop is, with the windows first of all, and the escape no, all right, first plan. Of all, first, no first, of, first of all, I would go downstairs. I get the beer. Even if he's like, Corey, I'd be like, all right, get in the beer. Hold on. And I get the, the beer. way you see a silhouette, he's flexing. Okay, I still give him the beer. I'm like, he says, this is what, what you do you wanted. think of Papa's biceps? Why does he sound Russian? He's trying to intimidate you. He's trying to impress. He's trying to just. <laughs> Corey, to... look at your you look at your dad. He's he's to get you he in the keeps mood. all his workout gear in the basement. And he does. When he, like, bulks he actually up, did. He, he actually he did. bulks up next to you. It makes him feel important. He's like Corey. Do you think I could, do you think I could break a brick with my head? I like, probably could, but I could still fuck you. What if just, come here. <laughs> what if he just puts lipstick on? He's like, just give daddy a little kiss. My dad specifically <laughs> said he wasn't gay. <laughs> As he fucked you. He doesn't have to be gay. Wait, you had that you. conversation? He's like, listen, son, even though you're a product of my balls, balls, I'm not gay. He had to tell you this. What, did you accuse him of being gay? <laughs> they were eating dinner. How is the roast beef? I'm not gay. Okay. There are a lot of ways to go with this, and so this is the one I don't want it to go. Yeah. So many other ways we can do this. You know what's disgusting about the trombone? What? I pulled the thing off the front and just oh. this black spit just poured out. That's of what it. happens with trombones. Oh. You know, I used to have a rusted disgusting one. Disgusting instrument. I used to have a rusted one, which was like a piece of shit, the one you actually grew up with. It wasn't plastic. I didn't grow up with a trombone. <laughs> Well, it's the one you grow up with, and it, it, it at the bottom of it, they always have black spit because it's a mixture oh, of dirt. Man, nobody wants to hear this shit. It's gross. Disgusting. They want to hear about your, yeah, your dad fucking you. Get back to the, the that gross you stuff. You just can't answer. Do, don't want to answer, do you? What was it? What was Corey, the question? Play Corey, time. Don't kiss daddy. Is this the fuck theme song? Put the is this trom- the theme song to your dad fucking you? Put the trombone down, faggot. Is this the scary music as your dad approaches you faster and faster? Corey, come here. This will just hurt for a long time. That's what Corey does when he's upset about his past. He starts playing the trombone. <laughs> hey, Corey, remember your dad? <laughs> Anyways, to, oh, answer, to answer your question, if my dad came down, he was like, Corey, what the fuck am I supposed to do? We locked the fucking basement. There's no windows. I guess I'm getting would fucked. You, would you Nobody fight? said he locked it. Where did mm. that come from? From I saw like this. But- <laughs> I have to well, I have to stop him from escaping because apparently there's windows and escape routes yeah. in every but single we were scenario. Asking, how would you talk <laughs> Yeah, and there's also ice cream and every other amenity yeah. too. How would I'm you like, talk your way out of it, Corey? Hey Corey, here's this really interesting scenario. What would you do? I would run away. <laughs> I'd run away from These the scenarios situation. fucking stink. It's usually me getting raped or murdered. That's because it's funny. You're supposed to come up That's with an not answer. That's fair. Would you fight your father? Said, listen. Dude, my dad used to be a bodybuilder. No. Would your you, dad used you, to be a So what? you just take it. Bodybuilder. You wouldn't even oh. attempt to he used stop to build it. his body. My you dad used to take the Arnold Schwarzenegger like videos. He used to study them and work out. Whoa, you my mom actually met my dad from being a bodybuilder at like a competition. That's how she fell in love with him. 
Do you want to body build? No. Did she fall in love with him? Or did she just like how jacked he was? How he could pick up and fucking jackhammer her off the... <laughs> I should have said that. That's my mom. <laughs> I know, yeah. I, Anyways, I what we were talking about is Hori's mom. Maybe, yeah, maybe she just liked how right. he could pick her up First and jackhammer her. First of all, uh, back to the story. I'm getting beer, you know? You know, Corey, 15 minutes ago, all you could have said was... Yes. Yeah, and then we would have been on a different topic. <laughs> what was the topic? Something about your dad raping you, but now it's not even funny anymore. Now it's just really sad and disturbing. It's pretty funny. Why don't you just answer it? <laughs> okay. What, what do you say? You have one sentence. Okay. You have one sentence. Corey, you want to fuck that da? He's not fucking Adam Sandler. <laughs> Say, Corey, son. Corey. Son, I'll I'll let you go, but you have to tell me a funny joke because you're a, you're a funny guy, apparently. Like, 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 That's what the internet me. says, apparently. So uh, my dad doesn't know anything about my. Well, let's say he does. This is hypothetical, a hypothetical situation. Yeah, tell tell your dad a funny joke. Tell me a joke. Hypothetical and situation. I'll, tell me a joke and son, I'll go. You can make me laugh. I'll go shove a I'll go up my ass and, and leave you alone. Yeah, I'll go upstairs and jack off and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, go. You tell a funny joke. He puts his hands on his hips. He's like, "All right, I'm ready." Wait, Wait, trust me, funny wait, man. Dad, jokes aren't funny. They're delivery. He, he's standing there with a hard wiener, and you're gonna be like, "Dad, listen, jokes aren't funny." Listen, his dick is throbbing in front of you, and you, all you have to do is say a joke, and you can leave. Like this. Fucking... You can walk out and never have to. Never. What if it's not funny? What if I'm like, "What did the chicken say to the road?" What did the chicken? <laughs> what did the chicken say to the road? Cock. <laughs> And then he fucked you. You <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> you, fu- you lost. God. You lost that game. They just made him harder watching you fail. <laughs> he wants you to take initiative, Corey. This is his whole thing. He's like, right. he's trying to scare you into. I can't. I can't stop with giving him stupid answers. I can't answers. think of a joke. All right. Well, give me an. Give me. A, I don't know. I'll tell him a riddle. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just bend over then, because you're worthless. <laughs> Stamper, what if your dad was going to fuck you in your basement? What would you say to your dad? Your dad. Your dad's uh, right. Your dad's brown and sticky. <laughs> My ass will sue you. Fuck me. The end. A stick. Okay. That's the only joke I what have. It, what oh, it, no, wait, wait, hold on. Your Corey. dad's running up to you like a big old grizzly bear. He's gonna fuck you. <laughs> what do you like say? big old grizzly bear. <laughs> wait, so, it's gonna fuck you. What do you do? When do you start warding people off with jokes? Like, he's your dad's running at you like a grizzly bear trying to fuck you, and you're like, Dad, wait. Why did Dracula turn into a vegetarian? <laughs> he you around and fucks you. He What's doesn't. The what? What's the actual answer to that one? I kind of want to know. Why did Dracula turn into a vegetarian? Because he heard steak was bad for his heart. It's too late. You're I think fuck. he got to fuck your heart after that. Oh yeah, he's fucking me, and I'm like, because steak was bad for his heart. <laughs> oh, I get it. That's pretty funny. Tell me, tell me a joke. I'm gonna be Corey. Oh. I'm gonna pretend to be Corey right now. Uh, uh how many wh- okay, banana? He, he, I guess you're gonna be. <laughs> Did you just like jumpstart a knock knock joke and just go straight to banana? You fucking bailed pretty fast, David. You stopped halfway through. But it. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Let me tell you a, a joke. Yeah. I'm okay. not a joke. I'm not a joke guy, but I'll. I'll... All right, I'm Corey. Tell me the joke. Uh, hey, that's not what I sound like. Yeah, it is. I oh. sound just like this. Yeah, shut up, me. Do yeah. I actually sound like that? Yeah. Yeah. Do I really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sound like this. I play the trombone. <laughs> I animate all day and watch porno. Play the trombone. That's pretty accurate. I hate Wawa sandwiches. I hate Wawa sandwiches. Really? No, I, I hate Wawa yeah, sandwiches. Like, that's time, what I bet. When I had my last fucking... Okay, oh, yeah, you were exactly. That was a thing. Like, with me and Shad, and we go to, like, get, like, Wawa sandwiches. Yeah. We go to Wawa. I'm you. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm sorry. We go, we I'm go to, sorry, Corey. We go to Wawa, yeah. and we get a sandwich, and I got a chicken. <laughs> I'm like, man, Sorry. a chicken Wawa sandwich sounds good. So I got a chicken breasted Wawa sandwich. I went home, opened it up. They fucking wrapped it wrong. They made it like a taco. Like they put the damn paper inside of it. And then when I opened it up, it fell apart. So that was already putting a bad taste in my uh, mouth. Yeah, it was, then when I, it was a pretty bad day. Yeah, yeah, I have an idea. Sorry, me. Continue. I have an idea. Let's, 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 let's switch roles. You be Corey, Corey you be Jeff, Corey right. Stamper, Stamper, you can be Jeff. Alright, alright, I'll be Jeff. All right. Wait, wait, who am I again? <laughs> you guys switching, those two are switching. Oh, so I'm you? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sighing? Hey, uh, hey, hey, Corey. Uh, <laughs> Come on, that's fucking stupid. What are you fucking retarded? Uh, hey, hey, Corey, uh, who, would, who would win in a fight between uh, Hitler Here's and. Here's the answer, who fucking cares? Uh, Hitler and, uh, your, uh, and Corey. <laughs> I'm, really good at, I'm really good at animating jizz. <laughs> Uh, I'm really uh, good at animating tits and jizz. Uh, uh, this is I've been a wreck. This is a on, fucking disaster I've been already. I've working on all day. I'm so I just animate all day. Uh, hey, hey, Corey. Uh, we stopped this. It's done. <laughs> Joe Biden. 
Thoughts? Oh, I can cook. I'm Stamper. I can cook spaghetti <laughs> with I can't, I can't do you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're good at it. I'm bad. Yeah, no, it, you you, you tell. That it, was good. All right. Was good. What do you be? That what do you, was good. What do you be me? Go ahead. Go. All ahead. right. I'll be Jeff. You be Jeff. <laughs> you be Jeff, and right. you be Jeff. All right. All go. Right. So me, what's I going saw on? Saw this guy on the way from here. <laughs> I Nothing. <laughs> I'm just kind of tired. Am I this tired. boring? Am I this horrible? Uh, Why did that ruin full of me when this, is, uh, this podcast would just fall apart? <laughs> this is a disaster. Uh, <laughs> I, really, uh, I really need you guys to play off of it. I just talk to myself all day. Like, yeah, I don't feel like talking. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Corey, could you be a doll and hand me one of those since you're closer? <clears throat> Thanks, BB. What kind of beer? The one. That one. Here, catch. Cool. <laughs> you got the hiccups again. That's good. That'll help a lot. <laughs> What's the topic? I had, I had a really vivid dream one time that the cops were at my door, <clears throat> and I was in the process of pulling someone's fucking teeth out of their skull to get rid of the evidence so they couldn't uh, identify the body. Yeah. And then what? And I woke up with a big heart on. Hey, Corey, you know that song that's like, oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light thing? Sing that. Go. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? There it is. It's so shape by the moon. Gleaming, and I just wanted you to hiccup constantly. <laughs> I almost had it. All right, all right, all right. Well, we, dude, I'm done. My I have a scary hurts. story. One time, I took a poop and I wiped, and I looked at the paper. There was a lot of poop, and I I want to go home. And I wiped again. I want to like, jerk off, and I want to go to bed. How common is that for people to look at the toilet paper after do they wipe their ass? No, but I see people animating cartoons where somebody gets off a toilet and looks at the paper after they wipe their ass. It's like, really? Do you, Jeff? Do you really see people do that? Look, I go, yes. I go, you know what I do? I wipe my ass and I drop sure it to make sure that I got all the poop off. Yeah. Do you not do that? How dirty is your ass, Stamper? What are you talking about? Watch. Okay, I'll wipe a little bit. You know more. what? If I wipe my ass three times and every time it gets a little bit drier. No, because sometimes, sometimes you cut a turd in half and you're just, you're just grinding the turd down with the vapor, you know what I mean? You don't push all the shit out of your ass. I do, but some, 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 sometimes I go up, I cut it in half, I prematurely. Uh, here's what I do. All right, here's a. Here's you a, prematurely wipe here's, your ass? Here's a step by step process of how I wipe my ass. Okay, I walk in, I shit. You look though, right? No. Should I tell the story of the phantom <laughs> shitter? Tell the story yeah. of the Phantom Shitter. <laughs> well, long ago. Star Wars Episode 6, yeah. The Phantom Shitter. A long time ago, when I was in college, a few friends of mine lived in an apartment, and uh, three of us, as well as a new guy who we had a space open, and he, uh, he, there was an opening, so he moved in with us to help sort of split up the rent. And uh, three of us were named Jeff. As you were saying, I, I kind of went by Jeff too, because... Uh, the other Jeff was much more ripped than I was. So was I there a Jeff 3 or was it just Jeff 2 and Jeff and Jeff? The other Jeff, uh, yeah, there was a Jeff 3 that uh, we didn't really know very well either. But we knew you him all then. called him Jeff 3? Yeah. Well, no. No, we just called him. Just in t- why, just did you, why did you do Jeff, Jeff Jr., Jeff Sr.? Jeff Sr.? I don't know. But uh, this is the story. This oh, is the, sorry. This is the story of the Phantom Shitter. So basically, uh, the, the, the point of the story is every once in a while we'd go into the bathroom, the toilet seat would be down, and uh, we'd lift the toilet seat, and there'd be a perfectly formed shit floating in the toilet. I'd be like, what is the deal with it? There was never any toilet paper. It was just Ugh. a big turd floating in the toilet. So we'd, t- we'd think, hmm, this is interesting. And we'd flush it and go about our day. But this kept happening over and over, continually for weeks. We'd go in, anytime we'd see the toilet seat down, we'd be like, there's a fucking turd floating in there, I know it. And no toilet paper. Never a shred of toilet paper in the toilet. Even though there's toilet paper hanging on the wall, never in the toilet bowl. That is disgusting. So we'd always, we'd always have this internal conflict. Do we just flush it and not even look? Or do we just open it up anyway to, to, to punish ourselves because we know it's there? So we'd always usually lift the, bowl, the toilet seat lid. It's always there, this big fucking turd. How often? Once a day? Once a week? Every few days we'd, we'd see it and we, we just could not. And because 
myself and my other two friends, we'd we'd start getting paranoid. We'd think we were fucking with each other. We're like, surely it can't be the new guy. Why would he be fucking with us like this? This is something like we do to each other and then lie about it. So we'd go on for weeks accusing each other. Nobody, everybody believed the other was lying. Nobody and, owned uh, up to it. Yeah, this went on for fucking weeks. So eventually I just put up a huge sign in the bathroom. I said like, attention phantom shitter. And you know, stop shitting in the toilet bowl and not flushing. And you know, this whole, this whole big rant. And I drew a picture of him shitting in the toilet bowl. Did you draw a question mark on his face? Yeah. Was yeah. he like a, a Charlie Brown ghost just shitting in the Kinda, room? yeah. I was just like, I've had enough of this. So the one, so eventually there's a fourth guy we didn't know very well. He started laughing. He was in the bathroom and I heard him bust out laughing and he comes out and he's like, I'm the Phantom Shitter. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I'm like, wait, what? It's like, you, you're, it's like you sound like you're surprised. Like, like. Like what is going on here? Like you're, are you, were you fucking with us? Because we don't know why you're doing this stuff. You know, this has been going on for weeks, man. He's like, oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't. I, usually, I just take a shit and then I jump in the shower, <laughs> and I guess I just forget to flush. And they're like, you didn't know. This is like 25 times. Does he wipe in the shower? Does yeah, I guess he does. I guess shower? yeah, I guess he just opens his ass up in the shower and cleans his ass out with the shower he water. Faces the shower. Yeah, he doesn't believe in toilet paper. He's like, like, like why waste that. why waste toilet paper? Who hasn't done that before? I I've do never it done every it every day. I've, I've never done I do it. it. I, I don't do it after right shit. Right done it. If there's no toilet paper, I will jump in the shower. I am the fan of shitter. You want shit running down your leg? So yeah, I was very upset. I've never done. You say you've done this at if there's no toilet paper. I've done it if there's no toilet paper. I, I'm saying I, 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 when I shower, I split my ass and face if, the shower. If head. there was absolutely nothing, you point nothing your ass to at wipe the with, shower head? maybe yeah, I I'll do. Spread my ass. Yeah, that's the thing. Bend though. down. It's like, the like there's nothing to wipe with. Like when the toilet paper is gone, it's like, what am I supposed to do? Just fucking be like. You oh. go to the store. What do you Corey? and buy toilet what you, what paper? What, you, what, you, what happens if you shit in if the toilet guys, before you buy toilet if paper? If you guys run out of toilet paper, do you like resort to napkins or paper towels? You no, fucking. I keep toilet paper in my bedroom. That's how I wipe. You know what I started doing? You know what I started doing? I started because I go to Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, I just oh. grab some fucking napkins. Dunkin' just in Donuts case. napkins. Yeah. I was gonna say the bed. The, the fucking bed. works. Do you, do you wipe your ass with those brown cardboard Dunkin' Donuts napkins? It's better to wipe your ass with nothing. <laughs> Corey, how Dude. can you tell if you wiped all the way if they're fucking brown anyways? Dude, why again? Why are you looking look, at your shit? So I, I can see how much shit's I in my exactly ass. Right. I, I just exactly. do no, this. No, no, no. Here's, shit's exactly leaking right. out of your ass. Here's the problem. You're I'm right here. You sit, I'm right here. <laughs> you're sitting on the. You toilet. got a big, dirty, brownie full of ass. My ass. Right is, now, you could. I can spread your ass right now <laughs> and get fucking chocolate syrup. And then Let me tell you something. Thing. You can toss <laughs> my salad right now. Let me right tell you now, something. Zach. It'll be perfectly All right. fine. If you shut up, Corey. You wiped. No. If you wiped your ass, Corey. You can feel the textures of your fucking anus, you could feel if you have poo follicles on the fucking tips of it. That's yellow! What if it's yellow mustard? Shut up, Zach! What the hell is a farticle? <laughs> Second, if you're sitting Wait. on the toilet, wiping your ass like this, you're pulling the paper up past your leg and your ass. <laughs> Don't look. you run the risk of streaking shit on your leg Are every you just... time you look I at live the on the shit. edge! First of all, of my leg. Yeah, you it wouldn't be an issue! It doesn't happen all the time! Corey! It's not Shut up! It's not constant on the edge toilet, toilet paper. paper. You, really, yeah. you just keep and, wiping and, and until there's no more, like, smeary lubricant, and you're like, oh, it must be clean. It's paper to wipe for. No, it's sick! You wipe the shit You got a fucking fart dude found up your ass, and you know it. It's not like I fucking stick my ass in some glass is fine. You got doo-doo shoes in your fucking Fuck! Fuck all of y'all! Fuck all of y'all! Let me fucking tell you something, all right? He has- Sleepy Cats is over! Sleepy Cats is over! Stamper has skin marks! Let me tell you something, okay? Let me know. First of all, I only do it when there's no toilet paper, which is rare, okay? Maybe once in a while I'll wipe my ass with some fucking- Jeff, I'm right here. Tell me I'm yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. Zach is 100% right! <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this. When you're in bed, Corey, Stamper, Jeff, when you're in bed- I figure you, myself, you okay? You scratch your ass and you scratch your ass. I figure myself, okay? Not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. What? Do you scratch your ass through your boxers to, to avoid you getting your finger? Do you think- Oh, yeah! Tomorrow, tomorrow is a bed, another day. I'll change boxers tomorrow. For now, I'll lay in my shit-soaked boxers with my dirty feet. I'm not you, going to sit with my hands on like shit. That's for sure. <laughs> well, why do you have shit asleep? on your fucking ass? Well, sometimes don't I, you wipe I always good? use my pinky because I never use my pinky. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I mean, don't you wipe good? Well, yeah, I guess that's a good point. You put your pinky in your mouth recreationally. <laughs> Otherwise, there are days. Do you, do you scratch your 
your ass, right, first and then you smell all, your hand just in case. I did, I didn't, guess I what? The you wipe your ass, ass, you're gonna have a little shit stains, okay? Am it's I the only person in this room existent. that doesn't dig up his ass outside of the bathroom? You guys really dig Here's through your boxers? That's a lie. That's, that's a lie. That's a lie. lie. You guys dig through you're your boxers while you're sleeping. You're a liar. At night. You do it while you Watch. work. I don't he want my significant others digging through my laundry seeing shit stains in my underwear. Corey said, Corey said, you guys were in the red room. You did this, and it was a fucking, uh, it was one of those, uh, you know, uh... I actually never said that. You're a liar and a <laughs> thief. Both of you, you're pieces of shit. <laughs> First of all, I wipe... You said there was a big fucking nugget on his finger. I never said that. And you said he looked around and took a bite of it. <laughs> A the, bite of it. I'm not sitting but there the afraid question, to scratch my ass because I'm afraid I'm just gonna get shit all over my me pants. Neither. The me real neither. question. The real I do. Thing. I scratch my ass, but I'm careful about it. I don't dig up there so like I'm just, looking you're, for a you're, fucking you're, treasure. You're you avoid the body feels. When you, when you scratch your ass, you don't scratch your asshole. Unless yes, you, you do. Some, you avoid if it feels I good. Don't that's what I'm talking about. You guys have itchy assholes. I don't have rashes in my asshole. I'm sleeping. I'm laying myself. I might have a scratch here or like here, but I don't have it in my ass. Here's the real question. I mean, yeah, I scratch my butt cheeks. I don't scratch. You go in deep. You go. You've got a deep release voice. You've tried, man. I don't put me in your world. I don't do that <laughs> you, shit. You, you've you seen dig in your ass. I've seen rim. you dig in your ass. I dig in my ass in the shower because the water washes all my sins away. Now it all comes <laughs> out. <laughs> First of all, I do the same thing when there's no fucking toilet paper. Okay, the what would you rather do? The real question is: Would you rather get up like a fucking asshole and walk like you pulled I, your pants I, down? I, as I have. I have one last thing to ask. <laughs> yeah. Or would you just jump in the fucking shower? Would you, would you wipe your ass? Have you ever gotten a little bit on the toilet seat? And how do you feel when you have? Because I know you have. I don't pull my shitty toilet paper Stand out. Stand up! Oh my god, there's a little piece of dude on the, on the toilet Your seat. Your face just now look like you're accusing somebody of murder. Like, I know you have. <laughs> I don't drag my shitty toilet paper past the bowl of the toilet seat. Exactly. I wipe my ass and drop it in the water. <laughs> you sometimes guys. you're reckless, sometimes... Listen, listen I'm, I'm on Team Stamper, because that's exactly I'm what I'm on Team I Zach. Do. Do you guys play with your hemorrhoids in the shower? Just like, ooh. Hemorrhoids? Squeeze them. What's Team Zach? Digging up your ass? <laughs> I'm clean. You guys, I'm, you team, guys, you're I'm team clean. I'm team clean, clean ass. Clean ass. You have... You're you team know. mystery ass. You're like, I guess it's clean. <laughs> Maybe. But I'm not sure. My ass is perfect, son. First of all, okay, all I'm right, not... All right, mystery I, I, guys. I'm not winning. You, I'm not winning. You want to examine assholes right all, now and see what's going let's on? Let's do it. Hold on. Let's do it. Let's have an asshole party. First of all... What? You know, I'm not. And stop saying first of all. It's like ninth of all now. Okay, well, first of all, fifth of all. Okay. Frankly, I'm not going. And I'm not winning a competition. I my ass. You know, I don't have to worry about spreading my ass and being like, it looks right. It looks good, right? Okay. I don't have to present my ass to anyone anytime soon. I have to present my ass to the next toilet seat when I shit. Okay. I'm fine. Or when I fucking sit down. Okay. I don't think my seat's gonna talk back to me and be like, you have a shitty ass. Even if I did. Do, what the got, hell are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when you guys were kids, did you ever lay in the bathroom and spread your ball sack apart and pretend it was like a fly yes, squirrel? Yes, all the time. No! I used to pretend it was a flying squirrel. I used to laugh. I used to stick quarters in my balls and give them... You knew what a flying squirrel was before you <laughs> learned not to play with your ball sack? <laughs> do you know what I used to do? I used to take coins and stick them in my balls when I was a kid. And I would wrap them inside of them and shoot them out. Of course. This, guys, this it's is like a question. little rubber elastic. Like, yeah, I would be like... like, like a slingshot? Yeah. When you were a kid, when you were a kid, did you ever push your penis in and then fold your balls around your penis? Yes! So it's like, yes! So you, yes! I did that too, and then I don't know. I still do that. Yeah, you let it pop out. Yes, I did that all the time. I, I still do that. I what a like board! A what I, a never, board. I did that yesterday, actually. I wouldn't do that to my balls. I'd try to, like, push no, what? my dick I do into that. Push it. No, no. So I, I, pull it over. I, 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 I used know. to do that. I used yeah. to do that. You take your flaccid wiener and, like, poke it inside of itself. Yeah. What's your out. Yeah. It's like a dying See star. Far just like goes but then down. You, you unravel it, or, or like, oh, you know, when you're in like the bathtub, right? And you, so you're, you're bored. You're you just, just like, get so I excited. I don't take I know, baths, you but creep. But you put it, you put it, you put, you bunch it all up. <laughs> just into the And then bathtub. you watch it unfold <laughs> like, like a flower, a like it's a rosebud that just <laughs> no. like, like pops up. That's what I do. Like the I know you do. I believe <laughs> you. You scrunch it into a little ball and tuck it into itself, and then you just let it go <laughs> and yeah, then it just unfolds. It unfolds into a penis and ball sack again. You shouldn't retain that knowledge, Corey. You shouldn't. That's not a good bar conversation. That's to have important. With <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the, easily the least important thing you can ever tell have anybody ever, ever. Have you ever scratched your wiener up and made it blossom? <laughs> have you ever tried to tie your wiener in a knot? No. 
I have. My <laughs> wiener's not long enough. <laughs> but you'd have to be. You'd have to have a pretty long wiener to do that. You could tie it in a small. You get like a half knot. I could bend it. Wait, what were we bend talking it? about? I curled it. Shit and penises. Uh, oh. and burps and burps. That was a perfect timing for that burp. I'm tired. All right, realistically shit though, penises, burp. tired of talking about shit. Realistically though, what? you started it. Did I? No, I don't the think Phantom you did. Toilet. I did. Oh, I didn't toilet, think did. it would spiral out of control like and this. And I said, that's disgusting. Who would get in the shower after you shit? And Corey said, I shit everywhere over the house <laughs> and don't even wipe or look. So it's your I fault. I did say that. And Stamper said he digs out whole nuggets and eats them. He did say that. And? Yeah, I remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> he admitted. He admitted to digging them out and eating them. I remember. <laughs> I remember very clearly me saying that. <laughs> you ever eat peanuts more? So first he told shit him out and see him hole in the turd. Do you ever? Do you guys really examine your shit that much? You yeah. look every time you shit. No, you I look squatch. in the bowl and oh. stare at like. What? I'm not gonna fucking hide body. my face like it's the thing from Indiana Jones. Yeah. I'm not saying that I look at it in disgust. I just know that my shit is in the bowl and I get rid of it. You know what, what I? What you, you, I actually. You know what I do? You know what I do? Safe. I actually do look at it because I want to examine if there's any blood or anything like that. Are you guys checking for worms and blood and I'm shit? checking for blood, blood yeah. and I'm checking for any sort of like different kinds of textures I'm not used to seeing on my so you have dark brown shit. If you see that there was blood right. in your shit, you blood probably wouldn't be able to tell. Sometimes it could be a little a little tear if there's a huge if your shit's way too big. It yeah, like you gotta make sure. Blood. Like if you see that, you're gonna be on alert this is fucking next gross. time. It's important. <laughs> you guys I have a question. Did you have shits that big where you're like, oh god, I might have torn my butthole there? So <laughs> do you I know. Gotta, what's your question, Jeff? Do you guys just sit and work so long you just uh, wait till it's like a little gopher head's popping out and you're like oh my god see sometimes I go I, I run to the bathroom and go <laughs> I, I, gopher head yeah, yeah, the gopher's popping out I'm afraid like, like, have, you ever, have you ever been in the toilet and then you bite the shit and somebody goes hey and outside the door you suck it back up and you can't poop anymore what kind of that happened to hey you? Ugh, that exact back my ass. situation my dad my dad used to go crazy and scream at my door when he was doing taking just just because he knew about the gopher head your dad used to fuck with you while you were shit ah! you know, i'd be startled i couldn't poop anymore <laughs> for days <laughs> that's days. why you're such an asshole now yes my dad tormented my poop habits and it would horrify <laughs> me in my sleep i dream about pooping and wake up and before i could poop he'd scream at me like <laughs> Get out of my face, wait until you wake up. <laughs> to answer Jeff's question, sometimes when I'm working, I feel like I have to shit. And I sit on it to pack it. You literally sit on it. I sit on it to pack it down because I know the longer I sit on it, the more satisfying. Pack it down. I, what do you, I, you think the poop's piling on the condenser? <laughs> yeah. like fucking... I think it's rude when people don't give me a warning and they take a massive dump and then I'm like heading towards that bathroom and then nobody says anything and I walk in there and it's just like can't even breathe. I don't like, think I've done that before to you. So, yet. No, no, not you. No, nobody, nobody here. But somebody like you, you just they're like God. You could have said something. And I have to angrily stand in there, deciding if I'm gonna leave. Oh, and you're inhaling people's shit. <laughs> yeah, if I'm just gonna like hold, wait another half hour for it to clear out or what? Yeah, yeah I like that. it. I swear it does. It packs down because if if the second you feel like you have to shit and you go shit, you shit like half of shit, and it's like oily and weird because I'm an alcoholic. Anyways, if I sit at my desk <laughs> you get and I let it pack yeah, down, what, what are alcoholic shits like? This oily. Well, they're very, they're very oily and they streak the bowl. Mm. There's some theory for you. Every time I drink alcohol, it fucking explodes my asshole every time. The one night I had those two Long Islands. Man, my shit was like, uh, you, you know when you go to a beach and there's like the dirty part of the beach with bones and cigarettes and stuff and dead skeletons of... Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's like black. Yeah, that was no. my, it was like it That's was the like the best part of my childhood. You mean the beaches in <laughs> India that I've never been to? Yeah, yeah. with human skulls embedded yeah. in the beach. Yeah, in a beach you've been to, there's like a nice beach and there's like a backwoods area with you know what is horrible your, where stuff. Where the hell is your family taking? Broken you? glass bottles. And what does that have to do with your bowel Screams. movements? Screams. This is like a big analogy right now. A big. Metal. I know what I you're talking say, about. It's like the, the family beach area, then you go over the hill and there's like all these like fucking twigs and shit and you walk out there. Yeah, and you know what I'm talking about, like the twigs yeah. and the broken you know, But that's broken because that bottles. area is classified for like, you know, beach families. You're not supposed to go over there. That's the not How does this area. relate to Zach taking a shit? Because I was saying the gross, nasty black you didn't let sand me is what my shit was like after I had You're talking already. about families having picnics you in the woods and it has sand. I'm talking about shit black families sand. having picnics on the I beach. I broke the shade castle out of it and someone some kid that bully walked in and kicked it down and knocked it over. I didn't know what are, to do. Are any of you those guys that are, get so proud of your shit you want to take a picture of I've it? I've never taken it. I have never had so much, like, I don't really know. I hate when that. I run into people who are like, dude, I took the biggest shit. It's like, who cares? So well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, <laughs> I'm shocked. You guys are so proud of your shit so you have to look at everything you've ever done. Sometimes you go, oh, 
Yeah. Have you ever, yeah, have you ever taken a shit and then it just won't go down, or you're, you're kinda, scared it won't go down? Kind of proud, like you kind of had a kid, but you can't tell anybody. You're like, yeah, good. I have a little blanket. Have you ever, nice. have you ever did yeah, that? Nice. Have you ever had a shit where yeah. a lot came out? And you're like, wow, that was impressive. And then you turn around, you you flush it. And then you're like, oh shit, it won't go down because you're sucking. afraid the water won't, won't push down. it down. And then the water pushes it down. There's... It seems like sometimes your body just decides, I'm going to hold everything back for one special day. And then you have like quadruple yeah. the amount you're yeah. supposed to. Have you ever eaten like. And you're like, oh my God. Insane yeah. amounts of foods over the course it, of like three days. And you, and you have like a shit, peach And you're like, it. where did it go? Yeah, yeah. Like, what's There's happening? There's like a blockage. And then it decides. That's what I'm just... talking about. You like, you just go down for, you know, a classic shit. And then you sit <laughs> There's down. There's so classic shit. There's so much of it. Fashion like shit. a Nintendo shit. <laughs> then you sit down there for like 30 minutes and you get up and you're like, oh my god, I hope it's not touching it, the top. It's almost like... And it's not. It's but, almost like the way a volcano forms out of the ocean. All of a sudden, like, this, this mass starts coming out of the water. <laughs> yeah. And you're afraid it won't flush because there's not yeah. enough water yeah, it's in the scary. You're like, toilet. oh my god. I, you know, my worst oh, fear god. is like... That's it, my like worst fear. it doesn't fear. flush. And then that, I have to tell somebody. That is my worst fear. That is my worst fear is going to the toilet and then, like, flushing it and the water doesn't go down. You're just like, the pressure yeah, is not even strong enough. You have to get somebody else to look at you. are like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> the real question is... That's why you gotta drink what? more because your poop just turns into liquid and it all goes down and you're good to go. I guess it's a good the real question is, <clears throat> what is the wait period before you can sit down so your asshole doesn't feel... Because, you know what I mean? You, have you ever taken a shit and sat down at your chair somewhere else and you just feel... You know what I mean? The is worst part for you? The worst part is sitting on the toilet and my legs fall asleep and then I then I almost fall down when I stand up again. That's because you're playing Tetris and shit in there. <laughs> I'm not! <laughs> Alright, maybe like, I am a little bit, but so what? Do you ever like when you take it a shit, like you take your like since your pants are around your ankles, you pull one leg out of your pants so you can get a better stance on the toilet like this and you have to like lean like that? Oh yeah. Have you ever spread your ass when you couldn't shit? Like you really couldn't push the shit out so you thought you had to spread your ass to no. expand. I was a like in a cartoon. Like Sounds. No, like, so stupid like I don't you think that helps. Have you ever like? Uh, it doesn't help your no asshole your, muscles. Your brain is like thinking like maybe if I spread my ass it would come out faster, but nothing changes. So you just kind of do it. So that's not helping. So you just kind of like I it, readjust. You push my ass a little bit, toilet, and then eventually you know I mean? it comes out, and it's just like this tiny clot that had like this. I do that thing placebo effect thing where I just like I squat four and I push on my stomach, thinking. Oh that my god, you that's you the, push your stomach. And I'm just like disgusting, Stamper. Ew. Well, that's you're trying to like fucking make like a machine. Trying to like put like, like a baby bird eating its food. Let me ask you something, uh, Zach. When you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth, uh, what do you? Well, how do you get the toothpaste <clears throat> out of the tube, dumbass? I don't push my fucking stomach and the poop comes out. Yeah, but you squeeze the toothpaste tube and it comes out. You brush your teeth and you talk to cute ladies. Have you guys ever had one of those toilets <laughs> where the rim is loose and you try to adjust your ass and your whole fucking body goes to the spew? Do you know when you go to those fucking like toilets and then like some toilets are really fucking wide? It does like, when you, my question. When you, okay, well, whatever. I'll, I'll, when you go to a public restaurant, a res <laughs> when you go to a public restroom, and you sit down and the toilet seats are too fucking big and you just feel really awkward. You guys don't even have the fucking worst of it. I went over to South Korea to Did visit you? to visit my brother and he he's uh they have these toilets oh, they, that are a hole in the floor. Yeah, the ones where you have to squat. I actually feel like this one. I don't. Of the best I, it shit, scares though. me even looking at them because the A they don't even have toilet paper. In you have those, to get them off dudes off the street. Yeah, oh they, you have to like bring your own or not have any. And it's like B. I don't know if it's just their diet over there, but they assume they're you're just gonna have a perfectly formed like five inch long sh turd that's gonna gently <laughs> gently <laughs> drop into this little canal and then s beautifully slide away and then you can get up and, and like that's it. But not you know. So so like, one of these terrible American so like shits where it's just like <laughs> like all over it's just like a terrible fucking disaster American it's like a terrible disaster that's what you get from, that's that's what you get from going over there with macaroni asshole. and cheese in your stomach I don't even understand and then you know the hotel I was in they actually had American toilet but it, it was covered in electronic buttons and I was just like well it's, of course for some reason I don't know it's like wasn't surprised I'll be the first person to say it have you ever been so sick that you had the shit in the, in the bathtub no no where you're sitting and you're squatting on your hands and knees like oh. a Oh my fucking God. Like, oh, like no. a wild animal. What is it filled oh, no. with water? Or are you just. <laughs> you're saying you're in the bathroom laying and shitting in the water, polluting your no. water. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's... I'm shitting in the bathtub water. Just because it's a bathtub doesn't mean there's not a shower you're, running. You're laying in the bathtub while shitting and polluting your own water. Dumbass. <laughs> what are you? The drain you? is open and the shower's coming down and you shit in the bathtub because you can't fucking move because of food poisoning or because you're you mean, too drunk. I shit on the toilet. You're what risking you the, the shit. A... You're going you're gonna to push the shit down the drain like it's Play-Doh. Yeah, with my foot. Thank you, but it, it's, I'm done talking to you. Forever. <laughs> but no, that's not the point. The holes, I'm horrified. I'm the, horrified. The holes in the Korean, the Korean, yeah. the Asian toilets are the yeah. most optimum way of shitting because the way you squat, that, you don't get like that's shit. assuming you don't have like a watery shit or like rabbit pellet shit or anything yeah. But the way your legs bend, your butt cheeks spread and shit comes yeah, straight out of your butthole. If you're a cute little Asian guy who has like a perfect diet and <laughs> you you, you, you shit shit regularly every day and your shit comes out like five five point two inches and then you walk away. <laughs> What's with this five inch shirt, Jeff? I don't know, I'm just saying. This is a holy five inch shirt. Right, like, so, did you I, bring you a tape measure to South you, Korea? You, 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 these terms. you look at one of those things and you tell me there isn't a, a real fear in your eyes that they can overflow and you're fucked. <laughs> Real fear. And then there's no toilet paper, and you have to just the pull your pants up, the white whale Listen, pull up your shitty time, pants, and go home. Every time I go to South Korea, I make it my duty to shit in every fucking urinal or whatever. You don't even want to eat when you're over there. Bro. It's so scary. <laughs> People just shitting. The way I see it is like even if you're an obese guy versus an you know an yeah. obese guy using the hole in the, <clears throat> you're still getting a cleaner result because you're sh sh squatting and shitting. That, that's possible. <laughs> and it's not like getting all over your butt cheeks because you're Maybe. just sitting down. That might be true. What the about like? In, your ass. Is this like the ones in Japan where you fucking like squat like exactly. this? Exactly. I'm more that? I'm more scared of just sure, yeah. splattering all over the ground yeah. and just like. That's what I'm afraid of. Like what happens if you have a really splashy shit and it fucking. Yeah. Hits up. It, it feels because to be like a porta potty. It, why don't you control how hard you put? You go into the bathroom and go and just well, shoot. No, like if it's funny, you can't control like the density and the fucking speed at which shit. Yes, hits you the can. It's called your anus. No, you it's just... called inertia and gravity. When it hits the ground, <laughs> an object in motion, <laughs> station exactly. motion. Sure, All right, right Bill Nye, the shit guy, <laughs> fucking giving me fucking <laughs> shit tips on inertia and gravity with shit coming this is out. Important. This is the first time I ever heard Corey talk about gravity and. Science. So you're talking about the gravity shitting. and inertia of shit of coming out of your ass. Spray shit into a hole. Listen, it's important to know these things. Corey, have you ever tried <laughs> shitting oh, yeah. like like you're shitting on an ice cream cone? Like you try moving in a so slow circle? I have never even attempted that. It seems I've hard. I never have either. Oh, you wobble? <laughs> you don't have to. Oh, uh, like soft serve. Yeah. Oh, you, like, you, like, you just yeah. shit like, oh, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. That, you, you end up fucking it up. Yeah, I think probably. my my you're, friend. Uh, maybe that'll I think get my down the bowl easier. It'll go down the bowl like a screw. You ever go to a hanger? We just won't quit? Gotta shake your ass around? No. Never? No. Jeff? Better no, but I, I'm... You've I'm, never had a... a Yo, know, kind of... Nothing makes me madder than when I think I'm done, and then you start wiping, and then you realize the wiping, like, never ends, and you're like... So, you're, you're, like, you're cutting stills, into a turd, right? Yeah. This is what I was saying. So you're, you're cutting, cutting into a... Yeah. It's like you're kind of cutting into a birthday cake. Down. Yeah, yeah, you're grinding it down, but it's still not going anywhere. Why don't you scoop it? Like, instead of just, you like, should, rubbing the top of you it, have just to just scoop your you're ass. You have to just give up. You have to give up the battle and sit back down, is what you have to do. Yeah, two, sheets, go, oh, yeah, two sheets, scrape up the turd off your ass and toss it in, and you're good. I just push the rim of my anus to squeeze the, the last of it out. That's what I do. If we're going to start talking about the remainder of the shit that's in your body that you can't seem to push out. Have you First ever of all, tried to you suck never know when your ass is fully emptied of shit. Once you're done shitting, you're just like, I feel comfortable now. You get up. Yes, I do. Could, you because could still I stand up in your ass. These are these beer cancer shits. They just <laughs> beer cancer. They're just like. <laughs> they come out and I'm done. Yeah, they, yeah, that's true. You probably have like very you're loose. You have a very loose stool. <laughs> yeah. I bet. <laughs> I, I feel like I've learned a lot about you guys. I have, I have one last question. What? We share similar shit issues. If no, could, we don't. If you can yeah, suck your dick, you're all broken. Gross, like, do you, feel, do you two I feel closer to each other? No, you know what? When this this gets released to the public, everyone's going to be on my side. You watch. Everybody it. will no. be on Joe and I's side and call you. I was fucking, agreeing with you. Everybody's going to be on you my two side. Are shit, you two are little shit. I was agreeing with oh, yeah, you. Everyone's going to be on your side where you guys spend the grand majority of your day studying your shits and what staring at the back of the I want to walk out. I was not agreeing with you the whole time. You guys are dangerous. You you poop. Have you, you ever don't shit, shit in your hand? You're like Iceman in Top Gun. No, no, you're Maverick in Top Gun. We're Iceman. We fly straight 
and we get the job done. You guys, I would be surprised if there were secret you know who Maverick everywhere. is. Didn't you? Didn't you? you never die? seen Top Gun? Didn't you die? Did both Gun. of you die in Top what? Gun? <laughs> no, we both lived. What? Oh, Mr. Iceman. Go- Goose Iceman. died. Goose died. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Spoilers. How is that a spoiler to say that Goose died? And <laughs> my my whole dream in life was to actually buy like a dozen dogs and just name them after all the pilots in Top Gun. But I'm allergic, so what kind of dogs? Doesn't matter. They have hypo. I just want to be like, dogs. hey, hey, Maverick, hey, Iceman, hey, Sundown, hey, Hollywood, hey, uh, Wolfman, hey, uh, uh, the Wizard. You know, Tim Robbins was in Top Gun. What's yeah. his name? His name was uh, uh oh, uh, uh, Merlin. Merlin. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Merlin. Hey, uh, Corey's <laughs> walking to heaven. I had enough of this. I don't know. Tired. Well, let's, let's do a closer. Tired, Come back, sit down. Let's do a closer. Okay. How do you do closers? Time to. Time to close the store. Energy. Wrap it up. Come on. Okay. Energy. Final words, Corey. Go. This is a wrap. All right, so you've heard enough of our bullshit. We're going to leave now. Bye. 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 See, you guys. See you next week. See you next week. Bye. We're going to waste more of your fucking time <laughs> with... Boy. Guys, everybody, let's do it. Everybody unison. into their F-14s. Three. <laughs> guys, okay. Uh, three. Three. Wait, wait, stop. Like far noises on three. Yeah. So three. On three or th- one, two, three. Three, three two, fart. one, and it. It's so okay. Three. All right. So three, two, one. <laughs> there was only me who did it. You guys, okay, you guys bailed. I did it. And whatever, I wanted, dude. I wanted to be last. <laughs> I totally did it. I quit. I quit. How long was that? It's like fucking two hours. That's what she said. Oh wait, before you said that second part.